here is a 2022 BMW X330i with the M Sport package. I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around of this awesome spec. We have beautiful black sapphire metallic paint on the outside, paired with the decor red Saint Stack on the inside. Nice M Sport package with the optional red M Sport brakes and the optional high gloss black kidney grills with exterior content. So what I'm gonna do is hop behind the camera, take you guys through a walk around of this awesome spec, show you guys everything you need to know about the 2022 X3. Okay, so this one does have the M Sport package. So when you go with M Sport, you get these standard high gloss black roof rails, the high gloss black windows surround. Now from the factory, it does come tinted windows at the back as standard. Looks like this customer opt in to have the front ones tinted to match the back as well. M Sport package is also going to change this bottom body line trim. Normally this would be a matte black plastic and then you'd have satin aluminum along the side skirt. All of it gets painted the same body color. So if this is a white car, all that stuff at the bottom would say go white, blue, etc. These are the standard 699 M 20 inch M Sport wheels that you can get by color. So they are dark gray on the sides with the uh, silver at the top red m sport brakes over the optional blue m sport brakes so that's a 500 dollars add-on option that you can do there now from the factory sometimes there is an optional black wheel option unfortunately due to current restrictions you can't even order a car with that at the front normally you would have still the uh, aluminum kidney grills even with the m sport package you would still get aluminum uh, kidney grills but with the high gloss black exterior content that you can add on it changes the kidney grills to black as well as the tailpipes at the back of the vehicle also go black to match so this car is basically all blacked out black sapphire exterior paint with the black exterior content now, one thing I want to point out, this is the facelifted 2022 model. So you have the new connected kidney grills in the center and the new standard adaptive LED headlights. BMW has gone far away from their traditional halo headlights. And now you have like a cut at the bottom and then an L as well. No longer circle halo headlights, but these are adaptive. They do up and down and turn with you. Standard for the vehicle is front and rear proximity sensors. So you see these little dimples in the bumper letting you know if you get close to something this one is premium essential package with the m sport so there is no front camera if there was this place would get replaced and there'd be a camera right in there they are active air grills so you might see the back of this opening up at some points and then at the bottom here these are also active as well right now they are closed but potentially will open up if they need that extra cooling With the 30i model, you are getting the two liter turbocharged engine, pushing you at 255 horsepower with 290 pound feet of torque. Ah, nothing better than a black exterior SUV with M Sport package. At the back, we have the, we have the new LED taillights. Kind of remind me of like a pincer claw design over here. Kind of circle at the end and open ended at the end as well. You have Chrome X3 and then 30i badging. So if you had an M40i, X3 stays in the same spot. It would just be M40i over here, but we call it the X-Drive 30i. We have the new redesigned tailpipes. These are similar to how they were last year on the M40i. Now on the 330i, you have these non-circle hexagon tailpipe tips. Two little dents there for the rear diffuser. Dimples as well. Backup camera standard, shark fin intended on the top. When you want to open the trunk, just give it a click right there, and the trunk opens up at the back. Lots of storage and a privacy cover. So you have a black privacy cover. If you want to take this off, just pull it down, sucks back in. If you want to disengage, you just press that button right there, and the whole thing will pop out. And then a nice thing I like about the new X3 versus the last generation is there's now a storage compartment right here so goes in on that side comes across you can tuck away that privacy cover and if you need extra storage space you got it right there with no spare tire because run flat tires do come standard in canada you'll notice at the back here we have the carpet mats and our gift basket that we do for customers carpet mats are staying inside because the customer did install the rubber mats for a delivery day when you're ready to close the trunk at the back you have two buttons up here one for closing one for locking the doors after it closes i'm just going to close the doors and if I did have the key in my hand, I would be able to do the comfort access of just waving your foot at the bottom to open and close the tailgate. One thing I love about the new X3 is remote engine start is now available. So with your key fob, you could just triple click three times, remote engine start will activate it up, or you can use the My BMW app and precondition it via the satellite. You don't need to be within range. Let's take a look inside the back seats. You can even see the paint 
starting to sparkle here with the, the light from the top hitting it. So there we go, get the sparkle in the paint, that metallic paint. So on the inside, this is our Decor Red Sansa Tech. So Sansa Tech is the no charge option. You have a few different colors between black, cognac, the Decor Red, or the beige are all the four colors you can get without changing the price of the vehicle. The Decor Red does come along the door panel. With M Sport, you get the standard aluminum rhombic trim, as well as essential package, you get the ambient lighting, which is currently set on lilac right now. I like how they put a little X in the door here, speaker in the door as well. And the Santa Tech is perforated. So you'll notice all the dots. It is a perforated synthetic leather that comes with it. The center comes down. You can have the 20 split there, or you can have the cup holders fold out. Just toss that back up. And then if you wanted to lower the back seats, right here is gonna be your 60 split on the left side, and then your 40 split on the far side. All of your headrests are adjustable as well. Pop that up, pop it down, and you can raise and lower them as well. Let's tilt the camera and take a look up at the massive panoramic sunroof, taking up almost the entire roof on this vehicle. Absolutely one of my favorite features. Now, when you are in the back seat, you do have climate control in the back as well as two USB ports. So you can have the AC maxed out in the front and the heating maxed out in the back or vice versa. On the back of your driver's seats, you have adjustable headrest here. You can push forward or pull back. And with that trigger, you can raise and lower the headrest. Moving on to the front seat with the M Sport Packager, we're gonna notice a few things. First thing is going to be the M door sill. So normally this would just be a black plastic that says X-Line. With the M Sport Package, you get the aluminum M door sill, the aluminum M pedals at the bottom as well as the nice, thick and upgraded M steering wheel. Some things you can't see are gonna be the M Sport suspension and the M variable sport steering behind there as well. You can see the aluminum rhombic trim on the front and the X of the front door panel. One thing I love about all of our X BMW models, when you have both doors open, you can see X3 imprinted into the steel right there, which is pretty cool. Now with the central package, you also get lumbar support on there. It is restricted to only the driver's seat, no passenger seat lumbar support. Santa Tech is perforated in the front as well. And to be honest with you, I find the Santa Tech a little bit softer than the Vernasca leather option. Oh, let's get a seat inside here. This is the standard 6U2 gauge cluster, the Live Cockpit Plus. There is an optional Live Cockpit Professional that you can get, and it also will maximize the screen to the corners here. So go from 10 inches to 12 inches. A little M logo for being an M Sport. Give you an idea what it looks like on startup. So analog gauges that are nicely tinted, so they look pretty digital, but they're actually analog. If a light was shining through, you could just kind of see the needles there as well. Adaptive LED headlights for automatic high beam detection. Cruise control on your left, paddle shifters come with the sport mode as well. And then you're getting your infotainment system on the right. Heated steering wheel, dead set in the center there. Nice upgrade from the last generation. Automatic wiping wipers. iDrive 7 preconditioning for that remote engine start is now available. Give you guys a little quick tour of iDrive 7 here. You go into car, you can go into your settings. You can adjust all your settings. I like in each section you're at, it kind of like highlights and like lets you know what you're changing. You can also go up into vehicle information, you know, like if you want to check out sport gauges or let's see, go back, we go vehicle status, check on the status of the car. And at the main menu, you have your media, your communications and your navigation. And you can configure all the widgets that will be on your main screen. Get all the information that you want. Coming down, new climate control section has been updated from the last generation on the LCI. So basically they did this whole center console got revised for the LCI X3, as well as your cover, you hide the cup holders or reveal the cup holders. Wireless charging is a restricted item at the factory right now. And then you have the whole new layout for the transmission controller brought over from the X5 and the 3 Series. Remote engine starts down here. Sport comfort eco mode, electronic auto hold braking, which is actually love this feature. The electronic parking brake, pull up or down. iDrive controller, so through the iDrive controller or through the touchscreen auto dimming mirrors as well as your sunroof control here full power sunshade so the click of a button your sunshade will be coming in fully powered or you just click it back so the x3 interior simple effective and sporty let's see open up the glove box and you got one extra usb-c port in there so 
four different charging ports inside the vehicle, charge up all those devices that you need to. All right, and that is your quick walk around of a 2022 X330i with the M Sport package, black sapphire metallic paint, and that's a core red sand stack on the inside. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made all those at the end, make sure you guys smash that like button. If you're in the Toronto marketplace and you're looking for a BMW, say this X3 or any other model, reach out to me in my email down below. If you know somebody who's interested in it, share this video with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.